Here's a short demo of the Autest platform. As we had mentioned, Autest is a Rails application that can be deployed on-premise or in the cloud. This Autest.com environment has been deployed on the Rackspace cloud. The application we're going to test today is FatFree CRM, an open source CRM package that has been deployed on the Heroku cloud. And we've got two Shamasins deployed on the Amazon AWS cloud. Shamasins are the Autest agents running on Windows and Mac OS X. So, as you just saw, we have a few different flavors of the public cloud, Rackspace, AWS, and Heroku. In addition to that, you'll be seeing Electric Cloud Platform later on, and a fully integrated offering with Autest and Electric Cloud's Electric Commander application. But let's jump into Autest. We log in and get a snapshot of the automation activity for a specific company and project combination. For this demo, we have Acme Inc. and Fatfree CRM project. Up top, you'll see the three main testing modules, Web for cross-browser, MWeb for mobile browser, and MApp for native and hybrid mobile apps for iOS and Android. And as we navigate through, we see the test cases section. Here you can add scripts to this test case directly. Autest Web supports multiple automation technologies. As you can see from this dropdown, we support our own Autest DSL, Cucumber, Selenium, Sekuli, Water, etc. For this particular project, we developed some Cucumber scripts that we've built to run against the FatFree CRM application. Cucumber, for those who aren't familiar, is a test-driven and behavior-driven development framework, which supports scripts in the Gherkin language, which is essentially simple English syntax, which helps bring all stakeholders on the same page. So as you can see here is the Cucumber test broken up into features and scenarios. It flows very much like a test case. In this example, we're going to create a new lead, then delete it, etc. To make the onboarding process easier and scalable, we ship a bunch of well-documented predefined libraries to help the automation analysts and developers in building out these scenarios. Next, we navigate to the jobs page. Here you'll see a list of past jobs that were executed, the current status, and if you expand the job, you'll see the specific test cases executed. Running a new test is essentially creating a new job. So we add a new job and it takes us to a form where we can configure the various attributes that we want to test. As you can see, it's a simple, easy to use, intuitive interface. This is something that penetrates all through the Autest platform. You can select the test you want to run to the left, then choose the environment to run it against. You choose the platform, OS, browser, version, combination, and this will filter out your available Shamasin workers. In this case, you have two workers for Windows with Firefox 37. Then you have the option to execute these tests in parallel or sequentially. There's also the feature called Burst Mode, where you can actually select your tests and burst them sequentially across multiple Shamasin machines. So let's say I want to execute three test cases. I would have three options. One, I can run these three tests in sequence, on a single Shamsen on a single OS browser combination. Two, in parallel, on three Shamsens on a single OS browser combination. Assuming you have the infrastructure, this would essentially reduce the cycle time by over 60%. And finally, three, running in burst mode, where I can execute three tests on three different OS browser combinations using three Shamsens at the same time within a single job. For this demo, we'll choose option 2 and run in parallel on our two AWS Shamasins shown before. Then there are the other options and attributes we can specify. Scheduling a job at a certain date and time and have it recurring. Say you want to run it weekly on Tuesdays and Thursdays at 6 p.m. from now until the end of the year. And easy! You can include screenshots. There's flagging validations longer than five seconds, allowing you to identify potential performance bottlenecks, saving jobs as templates so they can be reused by others in your organization, and here you can execute in debug mode, a feature that gives you all the logs that were generated on the agent machines back into your browser so you can analyze the run to see what else might be going on. Lastly, you have email notifications built in so you can get notified on failure or completion of the test. So we've selected our test cases and our OS browser combination. We hit run and this job gets queued up. So at the top, you see that your job was created successfully. You expand the job and see the three test cases selected. 
Right now, the test assets are being sent down to the respective shamsons and executed on the physical or virtual machines. And once you see the status indicator change to yellow, that means your job is started. And I'll pull up our AWS machines now to view the process. So as you'll see in this case, the browsers are launched on the shamsons hosts and it executes the Cucumber features against the fat-free CRM application. On the left VM, you can see it's creating an account and editing the account. On the right, you can see it's creating a lead, editing the lead, and deleting the lead. In this example, we're using Autest to run three tests across three machines in parallel, but imagine running 50 tests across 50 machines. Now, once the job is complete, it shows you the duration, the specific shamasins that were used, and the logs from the individual execution with the icon on the right. Now we navigate to the report section. Here's the analysis and overview of jobs. It gives you defect rates and defect distribution. You can slice and dice this data across different versions, categories, test cases, and time periods. Now going into detailed reporting, this is where you'll see the job we just ran, but I'll go into a job we ran earlier and I'm picking this one because it has errors in it. You can see it has three scripts, 24 validations, and three errors. You can expand this and see step-by-step -step details on exactly what was tested, what the errors were, and with the error, you get screenshots at the point of failure, like so. You also get to see how long each validation took to help look for bottlenecks. With this eye icon, you get the feature functionality to trace back directly into the script to see at what point it failed in order to make changes if necessary. If your HP ALM integration has been activated and configured, you will see a bug icon alongside any defect logged into your AWTest reports. Simply click the bug icon and the HP ALM defect logging form will pop up. You only need to enter the summary title and the severity of the defect because this form is built dynamically with the specific fields that have been defined for that particular ALM domain project combination. Now upon submission, Autest takes all of that metadata associated with the particular failed validation, so the test case, error logs, time of failure, etc., and pre-populates it into the defect form. The defects will now be logged within ALM and can then be modified within ALM after the fact. Now, back in Autest, you can also add notes to collaborate with team members working on the same project, adding to communication. We use debug mode, so the attachment icon in each header is the log to help you with debugging the errors, giving you metadata around your test. Finally, you have the ability to share these reports via email with non-Autest users, and you can export to PDF or Excel to do additional analysis. Lastly, we have the section called Assets. Here's where you can create custom libraries that are application-specific and create data-driven and keyword-driven frameworks using CSV, Excel, or any other data source. You can set multiple environments to run your tests against, and you can create test variables where you can create key-value pairs that you can use inside your automation. Now you've seen the demo of the Autest web module. We also have demos of our MWeb and MApp modules for mobile, browser, and app testing on iOS and Android.